Scott Birch from GRM here. We're going to talk a little bit of tech on the cars. One thing we've touched on briefly in one of the videos is the rear wing on the car. It's pretty hard to imagine a race car without a wing on the back, but there was a time before we knew what to do with them. The earliest example I can think of of a winged car was in the late 20s when Opel put a wing on a rocket powered car just to stop it from taking off. It wasn't until about 1967 that you started to see wings become a mainstay on race cars. The wing on a supercar is really important for generating downforce. So like an airplane creates lift to pick it up off the ground, we're trying to suck the car down onto the ground. What we get from this wing profile generate high pressure on the surface, low pressure underneath, so it's got a push-pull effect that helps bring the car down to the ground. We can alter the wing angle to create a bit more downforce, or we can relax it a bit to give us less drag on the car. So there's a lot of give and take there. There's a few different ways you can mount a wing on a supercar. You can mount from the centre here off a pylon, or you can mount on the end plate. It's actually not that common to mount a wing on the end plate, but there's a very important reason that we do it. As the cars are cornering, the wind comes and hits us from the side, generally makes the car draggy. The end plate returns stability to the car. So you think a wind vane or a dart pulls the pressure rearwards on the car, helps the car stay nice and stable at high speed. One interesting piece on a race car wing, which you may not be familiar with, is what's called a gurney flap. These were developed by American racer Danny Gurney. The story goes that they were having a bit of trouble with their car and he decided to experiment by putting this little flap perpendicular to the wing upper surface. The car put down times that weren't much better. The driver pulled him aside, told him that the rear end was so firmly planted that it was causing the front end to become unloaded. So it was a big success and now they're just something that's a mainstay. What the Gurney flap's doing is creating a small bubble on the back, which actually helps create a vacuum that pulls the flow upwards, helps us run more angle on this wing without the stalling, which means the airflow drops off the wing. This surface here we call the deck lid extension. It's part of the wing. These more modern cars, they use what's called a lot of rake on the rear windscreen. It eats into your boot lid space. What happens there is we get what's called an onset angle where the flow just wants to keep going downwards off the back of the car. So what we have to do to support that flow is install deck lids on these cars to help push the flow between the wing and the boot lid area. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned with us for another episode of Tech Talk.